Uh, good morning, student. Today we will find the roots to the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero by using the MATLAB. So we have to write the program. First, we have to go and we have to open the new file and then we have to write this program. So how to find the roots of the characteristic equation? Uh, roots of this uh, quadratic equation, we have to first write the array, then the command is like array is equal to input, specify the coefficient of the quadratic as row array, a comma b comma c, and like this, a is equal to array one, b is equal to array two, c is equal to array two. And then if a is equal to zero, and b is equal to zero, then we have to, the equation is degenerate. Equation is degenerate, means ax square plus bx plus c, if a is equal to zero, b is equal to zero, then c is equal to zero, that means this equation is degenerate. Second, if a is equal to zero and b is not equal to zero, then this a, coefficient, the term will disappear. The term which will be there, that is bx square plus c. So we'll get only one root at minus c by b. And if a is not equal to zero and c is equal to zero, then there will be the ax square plus b. Then there will be the two roots at zero and minus b by a. And next is if a is neither zero, nor c is zero, then we have to use the quadratic equation. Then we have to calculate the term discriminant that is equal to b square minus four ac. And if this discriminant is less than zero, that means negative, then we can say the roots are complex. Okay. And if the discriminant is greater than zero, then we can say the, the two roots, uh, these roots are real. And therefore, in this way, we can write this program in this MATLAB and we can save the program and run the program. When you run this program, the specify the coefficient of the quadratic as a row array. So that will appear in this case. And therefore, suppose we have to write here. Uh, the roots are zero, ten, two. So this is the coefficient of quadrat uh, quadratic as a row array. And now we have to enter. See, there is a single root at minus point. Okay, single root means C, uh, this is your, so here A is equal to zero, B is not equal to zero, this case, and C is there, and therefore we can have the this equation, A is zero, this second uh, condition, A is zero, but B is not equal to zero, then there is a single root at minus c by b. So we have got this. Now we will again find the roots at this suppose uh, minus one, five, six. So we can find, so there are two real roots at minus two and minus three. So this is the roots we have got, two real roots when this discriminant is greater than zero. In this case, the discriminant is greater than zero. Then and then we have got the two real roots. Okay. Now, again, we'll run the program. And now we'll find the roots for this array. See, the roots are complex conjugate. The roots are complex. Why the roots are complex? Because the discriminant in this case is less than zero. 
discriminant is negative that's why the roots are complex so in this way we can uh, find the roots to the quadratic equation by using the matlab thank you very much for watching the video